right, here we go. Today, I am starting an old project. Um, watched it a long time ago. I've been doing this for a little bit. I don't have the greatest of setups. Um, basically, this is just a hole in the wall. Well, really a hole in the ground type of uh, foundry. But uh, I got a nice deep hole and I got plenty of wood that I've cop cut up. And uh, I've got it hooked up to a uh, mattress pump here, going down in there. We've got some stuff in there right now. We're just waiting to see how it's going to heat up and uh, go from there. As soon as uh, it starts to melt down, we can start moving the stuff that's in there that's been in there for a long time. It's all aluminum from uh, previous melts that I've done. But um, finally got something that I can put it in. I've had to learn through trial and error that test your pan to make sure that it's not aluminum. Make sure it's steel. I got some scrap here. I've got more in the workshop to uh, throw in. But uh, like I said, I've got stuff that's down in there already that's been in there for a couple years now that I wasn't able to get out. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully uh, everything will be out fine. I got some heat escaping over here on the side, so uh, we're going to try and uh, block off that airway. Maybe if I uh, pile up some dirt right here. I know you want to try to keep all the heat inside as much as possible. I'm still new at this, but uh, I'm learning. I uh, saw this years ago with me and my son watching King of Random doing this, uh, except he had a whole lot better of a setup. But like I said, you know, I don't have the necessary equipment, so I'm improvising a lot. So, uh, yeah. how it goes. Got a good burn going on in there. So, like I said, scrap stuff that's been growing in there. away a little bit from the heat. What's up, girl? This is a bit of a timely process, I've learned. Um, I know I found a nice crucible on Amazon, but I've yet to order it. But, um, in time, I will get to a nice good setup. And with a proper crucible, this just happens to be an old air tank that I found sitting outside of a dumpster area a while back. And uh, the intention was to use it for an air pump, but the, the tank, the seals were broken and there was a bit of a crack on the top part, which I just decided to go ahead and cut it off and make it a giant crucible. Because at the time I was just learning trying some stuff but I didn't have anything to work with and that just kind of worked itself out 
like I said, when you're looking for a crucible, make sure you test it with a magnet to make sure that it's steel or iron and not aluminum. Funny story, when I first did my first official melt uh, with aluminum, I, uh, <laughs> I went inside and I thought I could use an old cupcake pan that we've had that's, you know, been in there for a long time. We've got some new ones. So I assumed that, you know, hey, I can use a cupcake pan and make some cupcake ingots. But, uh, imagine to my surprise, I go to pour out the entire crucible full of aluminum and it just kept going and going and going and I couldn't figure out why it wasn't filling up. Well, I discovered really fast that the cupcake pan was aluminum. So... Yeah, not only did I lose all the aluminum I had just melted down, but uh, I also destroyed my wife's cupcake pan. So the only thing that I could do was just crush it up and melt it down and get rid of the evidence. So if my wife ever watches this, then well, it wasn't me. Get a good burn going now. I don't know if you can see that in there. I'm just right now looking for any signs of the sides melting down a little bit. Um, let's see if we can find something to poke around in there real quick. Take a quick sh moment to run inside the workshop. Got my other dog sitting right there. Here we go. This is what I've been using to scrape out the... Uh, Scrape out the uh, slag. Well, doesn't look like anything going yet, but can't really tell on the bottom of it. But I guess for right now, what we can do is we can come over here real quick I've got myself set up I've been just chopping up little pieces of wood we can grab some of these small ones just thought it'd be quick and easy to chop up some stuff Whoop. I guess I should have grabbed a bucket and put it all in that's alright You know, look, I got stacks. Not the type of stacks I wish I had, but I got stacks. All right, so I guess we can take those and throw those right down in the side right there. That's a, that's a nice little spot. Not sure if I can make it in that hole or not. Do we have any ex better access? love to get down in there. I don't know if we can though, but let's try. You know what? I'm over here doing this the hard way. I have. I had. I'm losing all my stuff here. Ah, there it is. Blend it in. There we go. All right, now let's toss some more fuel down in there. Uh oh, there we go. Yeah, I think we should get some more. That's burning really good. Like I said, there's a hundred million people who can do this a whole lot better. Um, I'm just learning because I just thought it'd be a nice fun project what are the chances that I've dropped this before I make it over there uh oh uh oh 
All right, what should I do? Should I just drop it in? Let's see, one at a time. Boom. Boom. Oh, uh oh. Now we're not supposed to get it in there. Oh, holy cow, that's hot. That's hot. That's hot. Oh, that's really hot. No problem. All right. Let's smack those bad boys down in there. I'm gonna move these bricks out of the way for the moment, just so I can uh, see if I can grab some bigger pieces. I think I got some over here. Oh, uh, well. Nope, I don't. Oh, uh, man, I should have cut some more. All right, well. Uh, may have some there. I got some over there. Hmm. Way, way, way. Such a genius. Alright, uh, nope. Still not seeing nothing, but I don't know how easy you can see this. But yeah, see, I got some pieces that are coming off the side, so. I really just would love if I could just get that stuff out of the bottom. I know it's plenty hot down there. And I did learn from doing this that once the bottom is hot enough and you start to melt, once the aluminum is molting or molted, then when you add more, it stays really hot and it melts more and more and more. But uh, I mean, obviously, if you go up too far, it's not going to be as hot all the way up at the top. But I am definitely not trying to fill this thing up. So I probably try to usually get it to about one tenth, and then that's about it. But, um, the reason why that stuff is like that because I was doing a burn and I'm melting down some stuff, and I ran out of fuel, kind of like I just did now. But there's plenty of fuel around me. I just gotta gotta get to it. Oh. 
I just realized that I can't chop up anymore because I've got the power running through the air pump, keeping it hot in there. That's the lid for it. There's um, there's lots of ways you can do this. So I know whoever watches this will probably be like, you know, you should have done it like this. You should have did it like this, which I know. But you know, I stopped doing this for a while. But um, oh, sorry about that. I'm <laughs> right now where we live, our our burn laws uh, state that we can't burn until October 31st. And technically, I'm not burning because um, this is a control. But uh, I just happened to look up and notice that uh, I got a neighbor who's burning. And his is an open flame, open fire, above ground. This is all in the ground and all controlled inside. And with all this dirt right here, I can just scoop right in and cover it and bury it, no problem. Um, there's no red embers flying around, anything like that, so. But anyway, like I was saying, I, I know there's a lot of different ways to do this. Um, a lot of it, you know, it, you, you could use some money to, to, to get you a good setup, which that's my goal. But uh, for right now, like I said, I'm just, I'm having fun. Um, testing out some stuff. Uh, really just want to try to get that stuff off the bottom. But, believe me, when I have the great setup, then yes, I will definitely be making more videos and better videos. I actually have plans to, uh, build a really nice, uh, blacksmithing foundry area uh, between my workshop and the uh, property fence uh, I've looked at a lot of different types and different ones and honestly for me I can say you know it's good to just start off with something that way you learn as you go but between all the different things that I've done and I've tried I feel like I've got enough history that I, I know what I would like but I'm still learning because you always learn you, you never stop learning unless you just ignore everything but other than that uh, I was playing a game uh, online with uh, my son and some friends and uh, in this game they have a really nice setup on a uh, 
blacksmithing station uh, with an anvil and the forging area and it's got even got a water bath uh, I like the water bath stage but I want to make it a two stage I want to have one area that's the water and then I want to have a section that's blocked off uh, specifically for quenching because you don't ever want to quench in, in water uh, you want to use oil um, olive oil works pretty good um, I've been collecting some oil for a while specifically for this but uh, for the most part uh, it's a good uh, it's a good setup <coughs> what are y'all doing the little one's a boy and the big one's a girl She's still a puppy. He's like five years old. What's up? Huh? But um, if you ever want to check it out, if you uh, look up the blacksmithing station on Conan Exiles, that's the uh, that's the setup that I like. Um, from the first time I saw it in the game, I thought that was like the coolest setup. Um, I'm going to tweak it a little bit just for my preferences, but like I said, for me, that's something that I like. All right, let's take a peek inside and see. My tongs are not close enough. So... nice and red in there. Oh, uh, you can see. Red is a good sign. Red is definitely a good sign. So, just for now, I'm going to throw that back on there. Give that a couple more minutes. So, um, well, I'm going to end this video here. Um, about 23 minutes long. But, uh, leave a comment, like, subscribe, I'm a new channel, starting up, just trying out some different things. I'm, who knows what I'm going to do on this channel. I've been thinking about it and thinking about it. I haven't figured it out. But uh, until the next time, guys, I'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching.